You've been scheduling your teams wrong on Planning Center this entire time. But I'm gonna help you fix that. Let's go. So what I've got here is an empty set. And normally the way that I would do this, is I would click on actions and I would add people. And over here, every person that's in our database is going to come up. I can go through and I can type in each individual person's name or we can create a PCO team. And I'm gonna show you how nice and easy PCO Teams is. So we're gonna go to plans and under plans, we're gonna click on this little gear icon and we're gonna click on teams. We're gonna click on add teams. Up here, I'm gonna call this test band. I am the team leader, but you can put anybody in here that you want to. More than likely who this needs to be is whoever the administrator of your PCO account is. We're gonna click on rehearsal team. We're gonna hit submit. Now in here, we're gonna click on add position and we're gonna do test drums and I'm going to magically speed this up so that you can see who all's here. Okay, so now we have our full band that normally plays on a weekend. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the first one up here and we're going to add person and I'm going to speed this up too now. Okay, so now we have a person assigned to each one of these, but now we've created our band. So this shows right here, all team members, and it shows exactly what position they are slotted in for. Now that we've created our team, we're gonna go back to plans. And this is what's so amazing is we're gonna click on actions, we're gonna add people. And over here, this little screen is gonna pop up. Now underneath here, we're gonna click test band and look at this, test band pops up and it's every single person that is going to be in this team. Now we click on Matt, that gets added. We do the same process. And just like that, I want you to look at how great this is. This over on the left-hand side now has all of the people that I want to try and schedule first and it has their role. This is one of the best features that Planning Center has because you can create teams inside of teams inside of teams. If this is something that you desire for your church or for your campus, I would love to do that for you. You can hire me, I can set all this up, set up all your processes, your systems, all those kinds of things to make scheduling a million times easier. But what I've done is on my website, you can download a step-by-step -step tutorial that will take you through creating your own teams. In the comments, type the word teams and I will send you over this PDF. It's beautiful, it's easy to follow. If you have anything that you run into that's confusing or doesn't make sense, please message me and I will do my best to get back to you and help solve that issue for you. As always, thank you for watching, I'll see you later.